a tour of all the Soviet and brutalist architecture. You've got to do it here. So we're going to go and find them. Kishinau and Pristina Kosovo are often named the two ugliest capital cities in Europe. I think it's pretty unique. I'm not saying it's a very pretty building. Hidden Soviet mosaic. So the only place the legend of Kishinau could be is here where the building has been destroyed. No rock. Good morning from Hotel Thomas Albert Chisinau. This morning, today, we are doing something a little bit different. We are going around ourselves doing a tour of all the Soviet and brutalist architecture. You've got to do it here. You've got to see all the cool things, go to the nice restaurants, drink the cheap beer, but you can't come here without checking out the really cool, unique architecture. So we're gonna have a quick breakfast and we're gonna do this ourselves. Normally there's tours. You can actually book tours that will show you around and show you all the best spots. I've done some research online and I think I know the best places and the coolest buildings and architecture to see. Are you excited to go back in time? I am, I'm it's, really excited. It's gonna be like a time capsule. I mean, we're gonna have to do quite a lot of research so that we know all the ins and outs and the detailings. And then we actually have to find them. It's almost gonna be like trying to find like it's like a maze, isn't it? We're going to be looking around, little trying to find gems, things, little hidden, hidden gems, hidden buildings. Another amazing breakfast at the Thomas Albert Hotel. I would highly recommend it, and I would highly recommend Kishinau if you're looking for something different. Um, but today, as Matt said, we are going on our own little hunt, and basically, Kishinau um, was once completely destroyed. Um, it was after an earthquake and there was hardly anything left really to add to the blows. World War II came and destroyed so much of it um, and there was nothing left. So when the Soviet Union happened and they brought in Soviet architects, they literally rebuilt the city up until the 90s. Um, and now today, a lot of those buildings are not in use. They are, oh my God, the road is noisy. The buildings aren't in use. They are sort of abandoned and just not in a good state. And the ones that are in use just have kept that style. So we're gonna go and find them. It's like a little, like a little easter egg hunt but the easter eggs happen to be soviet buildings and mosaics Yesterday we obviously showed you the Hotel National and we also found the old Soviet mosaic that was right in our park but also in our park, we stumbled across today is this abandoned cafe. So it used to be a bar, uh, like in the 70s, called Narok, which is cheers in Romanian. Which it was makes, a big restaurant, it, actually. Which makes a lot of sense. And then <laughs> it was sort of turned into like a kids' play area, cafe type thing. For um, teenagers too. Teenagers too, adults if you really want. But closed again at the collapse of the Soviet Union. You can really see the architecture with the big spirals here on the roof. This isn't even one that we were gonna show. We just stumbled across this and like, right, we need to look up what this is, but there's so many of these old abandoned Soviet buildings. Without the website that I found on here, we would not be able to locate many of them. It really is a huge Easter egg hunt um, because they're scattered everywhere. You can walk and find them, but you won't know what you're looking at. And some are out of the city, some are in the city. Kishinau and Pristina Kosovo are often named the two ugliest capital cities in Europe. I definitely don't think that is the case here in Kishinau. It's got some beautiful greenery and it is not all just these huge big ex-Soviet buildings, but you can find them and they're right in your face. They're here on the main street of Kishinau. You have the government building, which is a huge mega structure that's actually shaped in a Russian letter from above. And then across the road from that, you have the presidential palace, which was built in the 80s by uh, Soviet architects. It's like this new building of the Soviet Kishinau, but uh, 
at the fall of the Soviet Union, it actually became the presidential palace. It's got like that over the top gold around it. And a lot of these buildings, you're not actually, look, you can't get yourself all in shot. They're huge Soviet mega structures. And like I say, they're just right in the city center around these beautiful buildings and beautiful structures like the Arc de Triumph. There are obviously so many of these ex-Soviet buildings and the architecture around, a lot of them being on the main boulevard here as you have just seen, but we are on an Easter egg hunt. We are. So, we have a map. We, we have, have a map. map. An Easter egg map yeah. found online. Found online and we're, we, what we're trying to do is basically not just find the ones that you can walk to really easily. We actually want to be able to go outside of the city a little bit. Hold on, what's our target? And look. So uh, I, want, I want a mosaic. Maybe five buildings, a mosaic. An abandoned building. An abandoned building. So that's seven. And some brutalist architecture. And some brutalist architecture. So eight. Let's see how many we can get done. Quick Yandex taxi out of the center of Kishi. Now they're actually really, really good. You download the app and for like a six kilometer journey, it costs like two English pounds and we have come to the gates of Kishi now. We drove past a lot of cool ex-Soviet communist apartment blocks, but this is the king of the apartment blocks. It is called the Gates of Kishi. Now to appreciate it, you have to walk like a kilometer far further down, which we are not doing. Luckily we have a drone, but you can see the gate one side, two sides into Chisinau. symmetrical um, I think it's pretty unique I'm not saying it's a very pretty building but it is very unique and it's basically like other socialist cities or countries I think even in Belgrade there were apartment blocks that were built uh, the same um, as a gate to the city so basically this was to welcome people that would arrive in Chisinau Airport because the road from here Kishinau Airport is essentially the one road all the way entering into the city so you could say it's like a show off like a little welcome to Kishinau um, but like I said it's not that pretty but I do find it very unique and they're pretty imposing on your view it's kind of crazy how they haven't changed since they were built in the 70s and people still live there today there's probably people that live there in the 70s that haven't moved they've stayed in the exact same apartment block this whole time this is actually the furthest out one that we're going to see today six kilometers from center everyone thinks we're crazy I driving past to say, you know we must crazy. look insane we're stood on the <laughs> side of like the biggest saying? highway filming an apartment block they're like what's the interest but the architect guys it's really cool and this this is like possibly the best find of the lot because you have to head so far out of the city to get to it back in the yandex without them yandex taxis there is no way we could continue on this soviet easter egg hunt this is so this is such a different video for us but i think you need to be able to do videos on the beach couples in the Maldives but also explore these ex-Soviet Union states but this location we've come to is basically a two in one you've got the Hotel Cosmos which is a fine example of like them huge oversized Soviet hotels which I believe was open until 2020 that is the last review I can find on TripAdvisor it says you'll come as a guest you will leave as a friend um, but I think the pandemic might have been the final nail in the coffin for the Hotel Cosmos because I haven't seen a review for over a year. Um, 25 euro a night. I mean, I would stay there if it was still open. A lot of people still did because it was like, I don't know, if you loved Soviet architecture, do a night there. But also around here where we come, there is a hidden Soviet mosaic. So we're basically on the hunt for that. Cosmos, Soviet statue. We weren't even expecting this. This is like an extra Easter egg in the Easter egg hunt. Everything has been going really, really well this whole time doing our little Easter egg hunt, but there was always going to be one that was uh, difficult because Hard that is the whole find. point of a, an Easter egg hunt, right? We're currently trying to locate the mosaic, the legend of Kishnau, and supposedly you can't miss it. 
But I'm not being funny. From We've the missed Christmas. it. Yeah, unless the building has been destroyed. But then this article was only done two, three years ago. I just really have no idea. Like, could it be down a side road? Could it be across the road? Who knows? So the only place the legend of Kishinau could be is here where the building has been destroyed. That is so crazy, the amount of time we spent trying to locate it. So it's definitely been locked down, knocked down recently. Um, but there is a little bit of history about it in the sense that it was built back in the 70s and it was made by a famous mosaic specialist, I suppose you could say, who did lots of mosaics across uh, Transnistria and Moldova. But yeah, we couldn't find it we because it's not there. We need to redeem ourselves. It was right, but that's crazy. There's actually an article about it from three weeks ago. I presume yeah. that's just been up there. It must have been knocked down. If anyone knows, that surely was knocked down before that. We need to redeem ourselves, and I'm almost certain that this abandoned circus that we're going to see is <laughs> still standing, fingers crossed. Oh, no rock. rock. Well, we found one that was open. Welcome to the abandoned, they're not abandoned. Yeah, we're not sure. Church of Chisinau. And what a perfect spot to get a Chisinau can of beer. We look we, very common, don't we? We look, everyone is staring at us. I think we deserve this though. We didn't find the mosaic, we found a lot of them. We still have one more after this place, but this place has no rock. Such, such cool history. It's that, been a long day of exploring. It's been a long day and we finally found the abandoned well, not abandoned circus of Chisinau. It's re it is very, very strange. We definitely deserved our Chisinau. Um, but this is kind of crazy. So the reason why we said abandoned and then not abandoned is because supposedly when it was built back in the 80s, it was a high end, you know, really fancy circus that was used for everyone. You had acrobats, you had exotic animals. And then with the fall of the economy, and no one wanted to go to the circus, so it closed and was abandoned, I think back in 2004. But I've seen an article that says in 2014, they have put money back into it, the Ministry of Culture or something, invested into it and made it now so that you can visit the circus in another part of the building. I don't know where, there are some new signs outside, but I mean, it's an abandoned but not abandoned circus it's kind of weird it really is a great example of brutalist architecture which apparently we created back the, in the 50s back in the 50s which is like you'll find it all around eastern europe and the ex-soviet units like these swirls these really strange shapes um but apparently you used to be able to get in there but it looks as if it's been blocked up now it's got this really creepy <laughs> clown on the front of the circus but like molly said they're trying to redo it but i don't know if it's in this you building you can see the new sign there yeah i know you? but if you look at it it's all smashed up it's it's close i, I don't wouldn't know. want to go to the circus there no, it would creep me out You can just imagine in the peak of the Soviet Union, families would come here of a weekend to enjoy the circus, to watch the acrobats, to see, I presume back then, the live animals. But then when it collapsed, so did this place only a few years, well, I suppose it lasted a decade after the, or over a decade after the collapse of the Soviet Union. And now this building we've actually figured out isn't being used at all. There's a small little circus behind here. I'm surprised they didn't redevelop it. I mean, it's an impressive building. It's a huge structure, but now really it's just a, it's a museum. It's a museum of, of what once was here in Chisinau. We're gonna try our best after this one to find one more, one more Soviet building. I'm not promising anything. But it's quite a difficult one to find. This has been the longest day. We have finished a Chisinau beer and I'm now on the hunt for the last Soviet or abandoned building here in Chisinau, Moldova. I've been literally, all of them were on this list, on this website that I found that I'll link below. But this last one, it isn't. I've seen it in a couple of photos and it's very, very hard to locate. I'm trying to find an abandoned observatory that is apparently near the university, but there's literally nothing about it online, apart from a couple of videos, but people aren't exactly saying where it is. I've just heard it's near a university. 
Who knows? We might find it, we might not. It's the last one of the day. University Observatory. I've done it. I don't know what this building used to be, but the observatory is there. Definitely was not what I was expecting. <laughs> you know, when you think of an observatory, you think of a lookout, a viewpoint. There is. A standalone building. I've, this... uh, I've done my research. You know, the hardest bit is going to be figuring out how to get up there. Yeah, on your own with that no, one. <laughs> we're going. Wow, this building has definitely whew, seen better days. Oh my God, I feel like someone's going to jump out on me. Getting dark as well. <laughs> Up the abandoned staircase. Oh my God. I think this must be the way though. I am not enjoying this. What a great place to come and watch the sunset. Perfect, like, right? An wow. abandoned observatory. observatory. And we are actually observing the view. It Although it was unreal. not, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. Um, it is basically a derelict area it's left it's crumbling it's people have taken out the insides the and now it's just left like the shell I it sort of say. sums up Kishina. like i said it gets called on the ugly cities but it's not you might have this abandoned but then look at that behind you yeah i mean that is one incredible view and it beautiful is. sunset and i can't believe we we found it the last one and mm -hmm. we found it and i'm gonna have to go up and leave you down here because <laughs> it looks it's a bit a scary. little unsafe and we are up Wow, you can see where the telescope used to be. And you'd have looked out, I did not trust this floor, all over the city of Kishinev. 360 degree views, but we've completed it. We've seen it all. We have seen everything we wanted to see from this little mini Soviet adventure. Like I said, this city is beautiful in so many other ways. Like it's an amazing sunset over this beautiful green park behind. But it still does have these old, Soviet buildings, some still in use, some not. So it's a little bit like a museum. Like I said, it's an Easter egg hunt, but what a cool spot to end. A uh, very different video for us. Um, we'll be back to our normal ones very, very soon. Probably in the next one. We'll see you in the next one for that.